Welcome to part 2 of our tutorial on how to download files with Mirk. In step 1 uh, we have configured Mirk to actually accept files and to be ready for downloading. Now in this part 2 of our tutorial I'm going to show you how uh, the whole downloading process works how you send commands to servers, how you add a server, how you join the channel, and things like this. One notice, you actually you don't actually have to uh, follow through this video if you just want to download without knowing anything about how this actually works, how comments work, how things are structured. You're welcome to skip this video and go to video number three, with, uh, which will describe uh, how to find files using search engines and how to download files under real conditions. For everyone who wants to know a little more, to uh, first know the basics before going for the real thing, there's this little video. In this video I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff, um, what people used to do before there were search engines that just offered a link it just did uh, everything uh, for you. It's more manual, but it's also, it's also more fun and uh, a little bit more nerdy or geeky, whatever you want to call it. Okay. First of all, I'm going to show you how to connect to a server, to an IRC server. If you don't use any link, you have to do this manually in the options. So you go to the options and connect servers. Now, you have a list of servers that you can connect to. To add a server manually, you click on add and this little box pops up. Here you can enter description. and the address of the server you want to connect to. As for ports and password, you could uh, leave it empty, except if you want to, to connect to the server with um, password protection. Most servers don't have it. So in this case, we can just leave this empty and click Add. Now, a server is added here in the list. And we can select it by clicking on Select, which will configure Merck to use this server. Now, as you can see, we are connecting to the LoadGuru IRC server. What is that? Well, we are, we are at the LoadGuru.com. We have our own little IRC server for you to test how to download files. We have uh, a few bots, a few channels, all with absolutely legal files that you could download from any country, I think at least, without uh, any fear of doing something illegal, because uh, we at the local, we love to do things so legal, it's almost boring, right? We have uh, selected our server, clicked on connect, and now we are going to connect to the server. This can be done in uh, two ways. First of all, you can click on connect here, obviously, or you could just click on this little box on the top left of Mac. Connect. And here we are. As you can see, a little box pops up after connecting with um, our favorite channels, list of channels that you could uh, access. Or you could just enter a channel name here and click join. Now, we could do this, but it's boring. We want to do it 
the manual way. So instead of uh, just entering the name of a channel here and clicking on join, as most people would do, you could also do it the more difficult way. Close the window and uh, just type in a command here the lower bottom of this little window here. This is a window showing you some information. We have our hello there message right here. And at the bottom of this box, we could enter commands to join a channel, a chat channel. What do we do? Easy, slash, join, space, this little symbol, don't forget it, and the name of the channel. For example, movies. So we're going to click enter, and here we are going to clear the screen to show you how it would look under real conditions. Hold on. Right. Well, didn't help, but either way. This is uh, what a channel looks like, a chat channel. Now, um, when chatting with uh, people on the regular, in the regular chat room, you would have a list of users here. As you see now, there's only two guys, that's me, and there's this little fellow that we're going to um, learn more about in a second. But usually, people would chat, like enter messages here, like, hello there, I'm here, how are you doing? And so on, and so on, and so on. Right. Now, in this chat channel, we don't have uh, any people to chat with. We just have me and a guy called TLG Movies. Now, who is that? That's an IRC bot that we have set up. How do we communicate with this guy? This guy has the files that we want, hosted. And um, usually in channels we'll see a lot of messages like beeping around with uh, hundreds and dozens of bots here, just um, advertising the files that they're offering and uh, similar. Of course, usually people have already know which uh, bot they want to use and uh, which bot is hosting uh, which file because they use search engines. Now. Maybe you have a guy that just says, I want to um, browse through, through files myself. And you could just do it by staying on the channel and looking at all the information the bots announce. Or you have um, a bot like this one, and you just want to know what files he has for you. So how do you communicate with a bot? Easy. You have to enter a simple command. First of all, select slash msg. This chain uh, um, is for sending a personal message to any user or bot on an IRC channel. Space. Name of the user or bot. In this case, it's a bot. Then enter xdcc. And then you can send your command to a bot. First of all, we want the bot to tell us which files he has for us and to tell us a, bit, a little bit more about himself. So we just enter list. Our command is slash msg space look for movies xdcc list and we click enter. And what happens, the bot starts telling us a little bit more about himself. Like, no one is uh, using it at the moment, his maximum speed and similar. The comment to use to get a file from him. For file details. And here's a list of all files he's offering. Now, to stop him from talking to us, because these bots have a lot of information to tell us, 
you just enter this msg name of a bot xdcc stop that's how you start and stop a server from giving you the bot from giving you information about himself files and stuff okay now here's a list of files pack number zero number one is called has a file called Steelers film part one and so on and so on and so on and so on by the way these are all great movies that uh, you are very uh, free to download from our bot now we want to get more information about one of the files that he is offering us so we type in msg block guru movies space xdcc and uh, info now we want information about one of the packs he's offering let's just say what more information about the file behind seal this film part one dot movie enter this number one as you can see click enter and the bot is telling us more about the file By the way, MD5 sum and CRC 30, uh, uh, 32, 32 is just like very nerdy stuff. You don't have to care about it too much. Right. Now we want to download the file. What do we do? Slash, slash MSG, name of a bot, XDCC. And now we enter send and the name of the file we want. Click enter. And now one of two things can happen. Best possibility is what happened right here. The bot just starts sending us the file. So this little thing here pops up. It's actually resuming the file because I already started downloading a little bit from it. Uh, some, some 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 parts from it uh, a few minutes ago before recording this video, and he's just sending us a file. Great. Second possibility: the bot starts sending us messages about how all download slots are currently reserved or used, and he is adding us to a quiet. Which sucks, which uh, sucks, but um, you will have to wait a few minutes until it's your turn to download something. And then you just wait and after a few minutes or maybe half an hour or something or maybe a little bit more in some cases, it will start sending you a file like this. For sending, sending the command, it's just going to like pop up and send you a file, right. You can stop it and resume it. And stop it again and resume it again. Until the bot is annoyed of you and just like so it says uh, whatever, don't bother, don't bother me anymore, right. So this is how you use IRC comments to download files for Mac.